Hey everybody, welcome to the Crazy Hair Express. I just got home from the gym, but we are gonna talk about making our plan and working our plan today. So, you guys, planning is something that I absolutely adore and I absolutely have to have in all aspects of my life, okay? Not only do I plan my business, I plan the household, like when we're going to get things done, if we've got doctor's appointments, things like that. Um, I also do meal planning every weekend. Um, I plan out my cleaning schedule. I know it might sound crazy and weird, but I'm busy. And so I have to plan these things because if I don't plan them, then things are gonna get missed or left off and, and you guys know how it goes, right? So the same thing in our business, right? The same way that we're gonna plan how we're going to work our business every month, we need to put that into action, right? So whenever you are thinking about a goal, maybe that is uh, your first sale. Maybe, maybe you're working on your first sale. Maybe you are working on getting active for the month. Maybe you are working on getting to certified, that first promotion, right? Maybe you're working on starting to build a team. All of these things are all going to come together for you, but you have to have a plan in place of how you're going to get there. Because let's be honest, if we all just sat back and waited for customers to show up or team members to want to just run to us and join Sensi, we'd be waiting around quite a while. <laughs> I'm just saying. We have to actively be working our business, be talking about our business, be talking about our products, all of these things, whether it's in person, whether it's on social media, it doesn't matter, okay? So no matter how you're working your business, you just have to be working it, right? But we need a plan to get there. So if you're not like me and planning is not your thing or you don't know where to start, this is where we're going to break it down. So at the end of every month, I start a plan for the upcoming month. Crazy, right? Craziness. This allows me to start preparing for the upcoming month. Let's think about this in everyday terms, okay? When you go, and a lot of you are probably gonna laugh when you hear this example that I'm gonna throw out at you. When you go to the stores right now, like let's say you go to Walmart or Target or whatever, right? What are you probably seeing in the aisles? You're probably seeing Easter things. Mother's Day things, maybe even some Father's Day things, Memorial Day weekend. Maybe you're even starting to see a little 4th of July happening, right? And you're like, oh my gosh, but it's only March. Here's the thing. The re retail stores, right, the big box companies, they've been doing marketing for quite a long time and they know what customers want, right? They know that customers are going to start getting excited about the holidays and the months that are coming up, right? So, you know, it's it's the 19th of March, right? You probably are going to see some St. Patrick's Day stuff maybe still out, um, but it's going to be few and far between and anything you do see is probably going to be on sale, right? Like, they're over that holiday. They've been promoting that holiday. Same thing with Valentine's Day. Same thing when all of a sudden it's Halloween and we start seeing Christmas decorations in the store, right? Again, think of those big box retailers. They know what the customers are gonna be wanting, right? Because they know people are gonna to wanna to start decorating, start getting excited, start making plans, all of those things. Today is the first day of spring, my friends. The first day of spring, okay? We have a brand new spring and summer catalog. So are your customers excited about this? Have you talked to your customers about this? Have you shared that we have a brand new catalog? Have you shared the things that you love? Maybe you, you are a consultant who you're like, well, I wasn't able to get a uh, business supply, so I haven't actually smelled the testers and I don't have um, the extra money right now to put in my own order, so I don't really know what things smell like. Let me just squish this little teeny weeny committee 
that is talking in the back of your head going, but I haven't, but I haven't, but I haven't, okay? I'm gonna use the example I've always used. I can put a Scentsy catalog, a warmer, and a bar of wax and put some wax on the warmer into a room filled with people, walk out of the room and come back in 30 minutes later and people are either going to be looking through that catalog or already have an order without me saying anything, without me telling them what I like, what I think they would like, all of the above. We sell a product that smells good. We have many home decor, cleaning, body care products, right? Let me just tell you right here and right now, people are buying things that they want to put in their homes and they want their homes to smell good. Now, we can think about this in a couple of different ways, right? Again, let's go ahead and I'm not even talking about LTOs right now. I'm not talking about limited time, um, things that are happening, releases, launches, all the things, right? We did have our big Harry Potter launch. It's so exciting. Um, on Monday, right? But without even talking about those LTO items, let's talk about the things that are just in the catalog, shall we? When you think of spring, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? For me, that would probably be spring cleaning. I love to get a nice deep clean in our house, okay? It's just, it's a thing. I get my husband into it, the teenager, you know, I kind of got a polar arm to do it. But I, I really get the family involved because it's my time to say, okay, we're gonna be opening the house with the windows, right? It's springtime. It's gonna be so nice for a while. We won't have to have the heat on or the AC on yet. I can turn on the attic fan. We can open the windows, all the things, right? And I want the house clean. I wanna get rid of all the dust bunnies under the bed. I wanna be able to just have a nice fresh start to a brand new season. So if your customers think of spring cleaning when they think of spring, well, did you know that we have a really fabulous cleaning line? We do. We do, friends. Okay. Not only do we have our brand new formulated room spray, this is a big thing. Okay. If you guys have missed this, if you have not been paying attention, it's okay. It's all right. This is a no judgment zone, right? We have a brand new room spray formula, meaning it is no longer oil based. That was how our room sprays were based for a long time. Well, ever since the beginning of time, honestly. Um, we now have a brand new room spray formula. It is now water-based. Now the difference in that and why this is such a big deal is because when our room sprays were oil-based, you didn't wanna spray them necessarily on fabrics without testing it out to make sure it wouldn't stain the fabric. Um, when I first joined, I will tell you that one of the tricks that a lot of consultants were doing was to take their favorite scent circle, right? Hang it in the car. Um, and then they were selling their customers the accompanying room spray in that same scent, right? And what they would tell their customers is when this circle stops smelling your car, take the room spray, spray it, and then hang it back up. Great in theory, but because it was oil-based, what was happening is if the room spray didn't completely dry onto that scent circle, and if it started to drip off even the tiniest little drip, it was leaving a mark on people's interiors of their cars because it was oil-based, right? Up on the dash, sometimes on the console, okay? That's because it was oil-based. So consultants, we all got together. We were like, oh my goodness. Okay, we have to stop telling customers to do this, right? Because we don't want people getting upset if their cars have spots or something's getting ruined, right? We don't want that. We don't want that to happen. We are now oil-based in our room spray, which means you could use this trick on a scent circle now and not have to worry about it because it's water-based, okay? It also means that you could spray it on fabrics 
in the room, in the car, outside, if you've got outdoor furniture, on that outdoor furniture cushions, OMG, They're, they've been sitting, right, all winter long. Who wants that? Nobody wants that, okay? But the room spray now, because of the new formula, is fantastic. This is an amazing time to start talking to your customers about this product. And it's spring, right? Because again, we know that consumers, customers, people just like us want their houses to smell nice, want their cars to smell nice. I actually keep a room spray and actually I've got the, uh, I've got Magnolia Linen. This is Magnolia Linen. Um, it's one of my favorites in the room spray, but um, I actually do have it in my car. And once a week, I spray down the entire inside of my car. Now, I also have a sun circle in there too, don't worry. I also have a little mini wall fan, or mini fan diffuser there too, but I don't always keep that plugged in. But I will tell you, it's fabulous, and I no longer am worried, oh my gosh, is this going to stain, because my car on the inside is black cloth interior, right? Oh my gosh, am I gonna stain my car? I don't have to worry about that anymore. It's amazing. This is a perfect time to talk to our customers about this product. It's also a lower price point, okay? So if you have customers who aren't necessarily wanting to spend a whole lot of money, but they want to kind of have a nice smelling area, space, something they can keep in their purse, in the bag, at work, in the car, right? These are great products that we can talk about. And it's instant fragrance. Who doesn't love some instant gratification? Hello, that is exactly why I order from Amazon, okay? Okay. So room spray, it's fabulous, right? When we are also talking about spring cleaning, let's go ahead and focus on our clean line in and of itself. We also have a brand new product, our Scentsy Swipes. Ta-da! Okay, our Scentsy Swipes, along with the all-purpose cleaner, which is still fantastic, the bathroom cleaner, and the counter clean, like this whole, the, everything on this page screams spring to me. Okay, we want our customers to recognize and understand that while they're getting ready for spring and maybe if they're doing spring cleaning or they're getting ready to open the windows for the first time after winter, right? A really great way to clean off the window sills and in the cracks and all of the things, right? That's one part of my deep cleaning of my spring cleaning. My husband absolutely hates, okay? I love it, but he hates it because it's such a yucky job, right? But when I open the windows, I don't want that nice air pulling in all of the gunk that's in my windowsill. So one of the things that I do is I use the all-purpose cleaner and I dilute it with water and then I take my rag and my little scrub daddy and I go in there and I clean out my windowsills. All the little cracks and crevices. It's a wonderful hack but the all-purpose concentrate smells amazing. So every time after that, when I'm opening the windows, I will tell you, as soon as it opens, I get that whiff as it opens, right? It's fabulous. Now that all-purpose cleaner, you can also use on flooring, all kinds of different things, right? The Scentsy Swipe So brand new catalog item, super easy, right? Our counter clean is fantastic and great, and I love it. Trust me, I've been using it for quite some time. But the Scentsy Swipes, brand new, right? They're already pre-moistened with that cleaner. So you can literally clean and have the instant fragrance. No more spraying, okay? These are really great. Another thing that they are great for, um, I'm gonna be giving my daughter her teacher as teacher gifts for the classroom. I thought that was a wonderful idea. So if you know some teachers, this would be a great gift idea. If you have customers who would like to gift those teachers of their children, again, really great idea with the Sensi Swipes, okay? But it's a brand new product catalog item, and it's a great reason to give us to reach out to those customers, right? We want to start looking ahead. So like I said, at the end of every month, I start looking ahead towards next month. I'm planning for my upcoming month. I don't start a month not knowing where my PRV is going to come from. I'm gonna say that again. I do not start a month without knowing where my PRV is coming from. Now, 
people who get on my website and order who I didn't necessarily know they were going to order. Obviously, surprise. Yay, happy surprise. But for the most part, right, I want to at least have one, two, three parties. Three to four is really my goal every single month, right? But I at least want to have those started or ready. So I need to be having those conversations before the month starts. Another really great thing that I like to plan for is to look to see what Cincy Club subscribers, what subscriptions are going to be running in the upcoming month. Again, remember, Cincy Club subscriptions are that reoccurring PRV for us. And not only that, but for our customers, let me just say, it is the best thing since wax, okay? For our people who love the cents just as much as we do, they are saving money. They're getting a discount if they're spending $30 or more. They instantly save 10%. They are saving on shipping because it's a straight flat rate of shipping versus a percentage if they were to just go on the website, okay? If they are spending $60 or more, not only are they getting all of that, but they're also able to get a half-priced item. Hello, not even having a party and using a host reward, right? So they're able to get all of those perks, plus they're earning points every time that their subscription runs. They're also available to give out an affiliate link, right? So it's a shopping link or not a shopping link, I'm sorry, an affiliate link that other people can use. And when those people use their link, they get two times the points. This is fabulous for our customers, okay? They are totally winning when it comes to Sensi Club, plus to always get my bar, plus the exclusive items, right? Like all the, all the ways, right? That we know all the ways. But do our customers know all of these things? Are you talking about Sensi Club with your customers? If you have customers who have ordered more than once, you need to be automatically having that conversation. Now, I will tell you, any customer who orders with me, I am having that conversation in a follow-up, okay? I am having the Sensi Club. If I'm sending out happy mail, everything gets something that has to do with Sensi Club, right? I am talking about it because I am too a Sensi Club subscriber, okay? Now, I don't get the reward points. I can't do all of that because I'm a consultant. But I still get the 10% discount if I spend over $30. I still get a half price item if my subscription is over $60 plus saving 10% plus um, ability to get those exclusive club items like the Sensi Bricks, okay? All of those things. This is how I get the with box at half price. I personally love Scentsy Club and I will always tell my customers, if you love Scentsy and you know you're going to be buying Scentsy, you need to have a club. Okay? Okay. Because they are going to want to save money. So one of the things that I'm looking at for the upcoming month, not only is how many parties do I have planned, what do I have running when it comes to Scentsy Club subscriptions? So those two things I can kind of put together and go, okay. I'm going to snowball this and I'm going to assume that this is probably maybe going to generate me, let's say $500, okay? Whatever it looks like. Now, maybe you don't have Sensi Club subscribers yet. That's okay. Notice I said yet because you're going to after this video, you're going to start talking about it all the time to your customers because now you're reminded of all the perks they're getting, okay? Okay. But we need to be looking ahead to... Also, when it looks like our marketing, for the majority of us, we are running our businesses a lot. We are talking about our businesses a lot online. So when we are looking ahead, it is March, right? Next month is April, then May, then June, right? So we've got the calendar down, okay? We need to be looking ahead. What are our customers going to want to be ordering? What are they going to be ready for? Like I said right now, it's the first day of spring. It is spring cleaning. We're, we're looking to refresh the scents in the house, get rid of those winter scents, come in with fresh, clean, floral, fruity, whatever it is that they love, right? All of those amazing scents plus a brand new catalog with all crazy great things. But we also want to be looking ahead at those bigger holidays. 
So we have Easter coming up, right? We know that's a bigger holiday. We also have Mother's Day coming up. Okay, big holiday. Hello, mom in the house. All right, I get excited about it. I know that my customers and my friends also get excited about Mother's Day. So start thinking ahead, right? Because when people are looking to purchase for specifically a holiday, right? They are going to be thinking ahead. And if they're going to order through us, we want them to be thinking ahead so they can order it and have it ready to go for the holiday. Like I said, this is not anything new. We are just taking a page out of the big box retailers book when it comes to marketing and really zoning in on what our customers want. So we need to start having some conversations around Mother's Day. And maybe that looks like a really great bundle. Maybe you want to put together curated bundles for your customers that they can give us gifts, okay? If they're local to you, this is a fabulous opportunity to talk to your local customers to say, hey, I would love to put together a basket for you for a Mother's Day gift. All you have to do is tell me your price point and then tell me what types of things you would like to include. Maybe it's laundry, maybe it's the cleaning, maybe it's a warmer with some wax, maybe it's a diffuser, maybe it's that air purifier that mom's had her eye on. Okay, okay. We need to be having these conversations. And then you can look at your catalog. Always have a catalog with you, by the way, okay? This is your business go-to Bible, all right? This is the end-all be-all when it comes to our business is the catalog. These are the things that we know that, okay, something might go on back order. Okay, it might, it could happen, sometimes does. But unlike those limited time offers and those really wonderful wax collections that we have that come out, right? We never know how quickly those things are going to sell out. We never know how long they're gonna be available. So we do know, however, that catalog items are here for the longevity of this catalog, right? So anything in here we can work with. So this is what you need to be going to. So when you are thinking about putting together a bundle, maybe they say, well, I'd love to put together like a self-care bundle. Awesome, I got you. What are you looking to spend? How much are you looking to spend in this budget for your bundle? Because we have hand soap, hand cream, body wash, right? Wonderful items, by the way. And then who would love, what mother out there wouldn't love, a lovely brand new fragrance flower? Hello, we have a new fragrance flower. You guys, this catalog is just filled with things and reasons to be talking to our customers. Now, if you happen to catch the email through Flowdesk that I sent out, um, did I, uh, Saturday, Sunday, mm, I think it was Sunday, I sent it out and I did share a copy in the group. So you can go back and take a look at that. What I did is share with my customers my personal top five favorite things from the new catalog. I want them thinking about what are the new things standing out and what are the things that I want them to be looking at, right? The new things. So of course I included Scentsy Swipes. Of course I included the fragrance flowers, right? These are just great things, right? So we can really put these things together for our customers and we can create really unique gifting experiences plus the things that they're going to want. If you are thinking ahead and making your plans. All right, because it's so much easier to look ahead and plan and then work that plan than it is to be, oh my gosh, it's the 19th of the month and I don't have any PRV yet. What am I going to do for this month? I don't know what I'm going to do for this. I don't want you guys to be in that situation. Don't do that to yourself because all you're going to do is be playing catch up consistently every single month. I want you to be looking ahead. I want you to have that really bright look at your business, right? Have that wide shot of what you want your business to look like. Because if we are always thinking ahead 
and looking ahead at what is going to be coming again it's going to be easier to have those conversations with customers because we already know what we need to be talking about it's going to be easier for us to again make goals figure out where we want to be where is our prv coming from all of those things now we have a really great resource in the end of month live that happens usually we get a nice little sneak peek Siri is listening to me again. Stop it. Um, we have this really unique opportunity, right, when it comes to end of month, of getting some of those sneak peek surprises at what is to be coming, right? So we can really utilize those to be having conversations, right? We also get exclusive consultant early access to wax collections when they're coming out okay so those are the things that we need to be thinking about while the mother's day scents are not yet available right we have early consultant access so if we are having conversations about mother's day then maybe that's a really great opportunity for us to grab one of those bars or the set of bars right and start making samples and start planning to get those out so that way our customers are already ready when it comes to Mother's Day. So start thinking about, even though it's the 19th of the month, okay, I want you guys to not only finish this month strong, I want you to have and get those goals that you're already working on in March. A lot of you already have a really good hold on these goals and I'm so excited. But as we are starting to get into this last half of the month, I want you to start thinking ahead as to what does your April look like. So I want you to write down your top three things that you want out of April. What are the top three things you want? Do you want to be paid a title? Do you want to get active? Do you want to have three parties? Do you want to earn the monthly sales award so you can bonus that paycheck? These are the ways that you're going to be able to work smarter and not harder. And you're going to work ahead. So when we plan it out, we have that plan in place and we can already start working towards it and hit our goals. All right, guys, that's what I have for you this week. Don't forget, you can share this video with your team members, with those Sensei consultants who maybe need some ideas, need to look ahead. And every single month, don't forget to come back, or every single week, sorry, <laughs> every single week, um, we have a new training on a new topic. So catch me next week, and I will see you all soon.